And tonight, President Trump will address the nation on border security. The president's expected to use the Oval Office speech to urge Congress to spend $5 billion on a border wall. But Democrats say they have no desire to negotiate until the partial government shutdown ends. Eyewitness News White House correspondent Mark Meredith has more. Tonight, President Trump and then Congressional Democrats will take their fight over border security directly to the American people. White House aides say the president will argue that the border wall is critical to national security. I think Americans need to hear from their president, their commander in chief, why he sees this as a security and a humanitarian crisis at the border. Congressional Democrats will get a chance to respond. The Democrats will say the president's demand for a border wall is hurting Americans, including some 800,000 government employees caught in the middle of the battle over the wall. We are facing a government shutdown that is totally unnecessary. The White House says it's also considering whether to declare a national emergency on the southern border. That decision might allow the president to order the Pentagon to build the wall without congressional approval. Political expert Gary Nordlinger says tonight's speech may be the president's best chance to make his case. So it's going to give him literally a world stage unfiltered to make his point. And he's going to have a far bigger audience. The president plans to travel to the U.S.-Mexico border on Thursday, but the White House has not said who the president will meet or what he hopes to accomplish. In Washington, Mark Meredith, Eyewitness News. And that presidential address starts at 9 o'clock, followed by the Democratic response. Please note your regular scheduled programming will be interrupted on WBRE and WIOU.